Tom Trocity Future, I apologize for this video ahead of time. The commentary is a bit rough. I do say a lot of you knows. I do say a lot of ums. I don't mean to do that. My brain was scattered shot for some weird reason when I started this. I like Seven Days to Die. I like playing it. I had criticisms for the game. I'm going to mention it over and over again. It, it's the nature of the video. So, next video that comes out, I will be working on myself here and not to have redundancies as best as I can. So, here's the video as it is, and we'll keep going. All right? All right. Hey, everyone. Tom Trossett here. Welcome to Seven Days to Die. Now, years ago, I've attempted to play this game on my old laptop. It did not work well. I was playing Alpha 14. I thought I played Alpha 16 back then, but no, it was Alpha 14. Graphics were terrible back then. It just didn't run well overall, and I didn't like the direction I was going with it to begin with. I was just going to do a general playthrough of it, and I still want to, but I think I'm going to pivot. So, for now, I'm going to play Alpha 16, which I'm familiar with, for probably a couple sessions, and then we'll switch to the new Alpha, Alpha 21. Now, as much as I love playing this game off YouTube, like if I'm just playing it personally, I put in at least between three to five hundred hours lots of fun had a ton of fun with friends off offline but they don't they're not around anymore unfortunately so um i also had some criticism about the changes in the alphas like once they pivot from alpha 16 to alpha 17 i didn't like what they did with the skill tree system but i'm willing to give it a shot I haven't I haven't really tried it I mean, I'm a big fan of watching Glock 9, so I am a little bit familiar with what Alpha 21 kind of looks like. But for now, we'll play Alpha 16. Like I said, just a couple days. So, just survival, single player, random gen. We're going to call it, um, I don't know. We'll call it YouTube, why not? You know, just just to start it. Now, standard options. I'm just gonna go with Nomad difficulty. Uh, daylight length, 18 hours, which is the max. The zombie runs, I usually have it default. Uh, 24 hour cycle, 120 minutes, so like two hours essentially. Block durability, loot durability, loot respawn, backpack only. 64 enemies, which is what I'm gonna be doing. This PC can handle it. Enemy spawning, airdrops every three days. That's fine. And I'm not going to do any of the cheats. So, and I'm just going to keep air, airdrops marked off. So, yeah, let's start this game and go through the uh, initial challenges. Which, you know, the standard eight challenges is nothing. World Generation. I don't know. Here we go. Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place, and you look like you could use some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we just might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement. It's real and it's safe. There's a new settlement job that's out there, and we gotta take it. Uh, so be safe, good luck, Noah. Interesting. But yeah... Basic survival is your active quest. The quest's status is displayed on the objective tracker on the top right of the screen. For more information on quests, access your inventory, navigate the quest menu. Okay, so pretty straight. Oh, jeez. Pretty straightforward. Whoa, why do I have... Hold on. Hold on. I don't understand this blur effect. This is driving me nuts. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Motion blur was on, which was weird. But anyways, so yeah, there's objectives we need to complete. I just gotta get these grass. And let me just run for these challenges real quick. Also, since we last time played, aka uh, Lethal Company, I'm using my regular mouse again. I fixed the issue. The adapter wasn't close enough, uh, I guess, to, I don't know, single boost or whatever. So, I was managing to... F I managed to fix it. Okay. 
Craft bedroll. I forgot bedroll takes forever. Okay. You have earned skill points. Spend them by accessing your inventory and navigating to the skills menu. Then highlight a desired skill or perk to purchase it. Continue. Okay, so... Settlement. We're going to turn off. I know. We turn it off. It's fine. We don't need to do the settlement. We're not... We're not playing long term in this. I'm just basically going through the basics again because it's been a hot minute since I played Seven Days to Die. So we got our skills, skill points. I'm gonna put them into some of the the skill point tree. I just need a little bit more wood and stone because I need to get, craft all these uh, feathers. Anyways, so we have five points available. Let's just put them in the basic stuff. All right, so we'll do tool smithing, and then hmm, ah, that's probably what I should have done was the that. Oh well, it's fine. I'd rather have better tools, anyways. Let's see. We could go into archery, or we can go blunt weapons. Hmm. Can't do minor 69. Yeah, you know, let's go blunt weapons. Alright, cool. So yeah, seven days to die. Here it is. The point is to live, build bases, and survive. Generally, we gotta get to day seven. We gotta have a base. And survive the Horde Knight, typically. So, pretty easy game. Overall, pretty simple. I enjoy this game a lot. It has a lot of good qualities to it. Oh, I can't repair it. Because I don't have enough stone. I gotta get more stone. I don't need more wood. I need stone. I need to get stone. That's what I need. And once I get enough stuff, we'll go exploring. Trust me, I know it seems boring. It usually is at the very beginning, but things will get interesting as we go. Okay, so let's go exploring. This is Seven Days to Die, as I said. Sorry, I'm having a weird tangent of trying to talk. And I pick random gen, and we are surrounded by water, which is interesting. That's why I've not been seeing any zombies since I've been here. I'm going to build a simple base. Nothing crazy. Just to get me started. At least when we go to the map... You know, that's where we started. Like, this is an interesting island for random gen. So, YouTube for Alpha 16. So, that's pretty cool. Or at least a pretty good start, honestly. Because I haven't played in a hot minute. But, yeah, no. I've had some criticisms about this game. Don't get me wrong. I have a lot of fun. I put a lot of hours in. But I put in a lot of hours in the other alphas of this game i have not put in an alpha 17 beyond because i didn't like the way the skill tree was going towards i like the freedom that 16 provided and even the earlier alphas but i get what they're trying to do i get it that all the pois have to be dungeon based styles um not every single one i know i just said everyone i'm contradicting myself but for the most part like basic housing can be a dungeon style or you know all the buildings have to have some sort of dungeon style set up to it which cool but does it have to be every single one I'm going against the grain I know I am but it's whatever so and then the skill trees have divulged like yeah we had schematics we had certain things in place in the older alphas, but the newer alphas are really relying on the books. So the whole point of the books is the slow end game, basically. End game is you getting the crucible, you getting the mixer, getting the workbench, the chem station to maximize your base potential with steel. So 
whatever. I get, I get that. Like, all right, that's one way to go about it. But I don't know. Schematics made more sense. Finding the stuff in the world made sense. You know, you weren't locked behind constant books for everything. So, where you just go out in the world and you might find stuff is better than nothing. One thing I will give credit, though, that the earlier alphas don't have is pipe weapons. Yeah, we have the blunderbuss, which is whatever. But the fact that pipe weapons are a thing is a viability is nice. Oh, there we go. Reload. Still learning the controls again. Alright, let's see here. Alright, come on, zombie. Make my day. Oh, perfect. You just made it easy. Alright, he's dead. Get out of my face. I didn't ask... Okay, whoa. Whoa. There we go. And let's loot some zombies. You had gunpowder on you. You had nothing on you. Cool. Fantastic. Okay, so there's some buildings to that way, and I assume there's more buildings to the other way. To be fair, the graphics don't look any better. Even with the higher settings I have on my PC. Like, it still kind of looks fugly in the loading. Like, future me. Zoom in. Oh, there we go. I could just zoom in right here. Like... Holy shit. We'll have to see what it, Alpha 21 brings, but yeah, this is Alpha 16. Is it pleasant to look at? Probably not. But, you know, it's the nature of the game. So. Alright. What are you doing in the water? Let me get some more feathers. They don't even notice me. Hey, lady, acknowledge me. Come on. Oh, good. Just fall in the water. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, my God. I'm terrible. Oh, oh, where'd you come from? Oh, good. Headshot. Glad I was able to get that. Come on. Come on. There we go. Just go down. No one asked for you. No, come on. How am I missing? Okay, good. What do you had on you? Nothing. And you. You had a rotten sandwich. Oh, wrong, wrong key. <laughs> go away. I don't want rotten sandwiches. Let's head to that town. I gotta craft more arrows. I can't see. Okay, hold on. This tree's kind of blocking my view anyways. Get out of here. I want to ask you. Alright, good. You had shotgun bullets on you? Why? You had nothing. Uh, wrong key. I got 41 feathers. I don't need... I can only make four. Or three. Excellent. Hey, we found a road. Follow the... Dirt ass road. Ooh. That's interesting to grab. You know, early game access to Iron Fix Axe is pretty decent, in my opinion. Why does this random gen feel familiar? Like, this is actually Alpha Gen I think I kind of played on. Like, not saying, um, 
like the world I built, which is weird because I don't remember using YouTube, but I remember just simply playing a house right here. But going forward led to the wasteland over there, not behind me. So minor differences, but the trader was over that way. So I don't know. Interesting that I kind of made a similar random gen map, even though I used a different town name. Or not town name, but random gen name. Upside by the old alphas, there's no zombies. Oh wait, no, this is 16. There are going to be zombies. Yep. Totally forgot about that. If this was alpha 15, there'd be no zombies in there. Ow. Ow. Come on. Seriously? And I'm infected? Come on. Ugh. Gotta find an antibiotic now. Somehow. You had nothing on you. You terrible big lady. Alright. Anything else in here? No? Okay. What do you have? Where'd you come from? I didn't even hear you. Dick. All right. Grab a door. Bastards. Oh my god, I got not only an iron pick axe, but a wrench? Man, this is not a bad start to begin with. Ooh, I definitely need more water. Okay. That's all searched. Glass jars. Get rid of the wood. You had nothing. Get rid of the trash. Fix that up. Okay. Okie dokie. So, this is where... Yeah, this is exactly the same house I would have had. Interesting. Alright. Alright. So we'll come back to this house. Actually, you know what? Hold up. So let's do it this way. Where are you? There you are. Uh-huh. Perfect. That way those two zombies can't respawn. All right, let's go to the trader since I know where it is now. And see who we got. Crossbow schematic. There we go. Like, yeah, like this. You wouldn't be able to get this in the current alpha. You would have to physically read enough books to unlock the crossbow. So you have to do a lot of reading. Alright, who do we got? I got just the thing for what's ailing you. Okay. What's in your secret stash? So yeah, like I said, there's a lot of schematics here. Forged steel and a mining helmet with a light, which would be nice. And this is what he's got for ammos and weapon. This is what he got for tools. And what he has for resources. Interesting. Be seeing you. Yep. All right. So the guy didn't have much to begin with, and then we have vending machines, but I don't have any coin at the moment. So the odds of us finding something working is going to be slim to none. We do have a forge we can use. Interesting. Okay. Good to know we have the forge here. Okay, turn that on. Then I gotta get some clay. But hey, he's got a forge that works. Just gotta remind myself to come back to it. And nothing in there. 
Okay, so, obviously I'm infected, and I doubt he has an antibiotic on him. Which means I gotta find an antibiotic out in the world. And it's not in his secret stash. But hey, we at least got some coin. Safe travels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's scrap that. Let's turn off the forge for now. Where is it? There it is. Burn, burn up this iron, because we gotta get clay in order to make an anvil. Until we build our own forge, it will just take advantage of the forge that's in the trader. So turn that off for now. Uh, I also need to make more arrows. But we gotta get more stone. Because we got enough wood. Okay. Things to do. Hey, look at that. I got skill points just running. Running around like a numbskull. I'll, 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 I dig it. Speaking of running. Since I got, you know, six points. Let's buy one of those. And let's increase that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get stone, and make more arrows. So let's get a storage uh, storage case down in the house. Put some stuff away and start optimizing. Okay, so. Put that away, that way, that way, that way. Like I said, I'm going to make a basic base. It's a base I kind of ran with uh, back in Alpha 14. Or I like to play. There was There's spots in the wasteland that gave me the idea for this. I don't know, I just like the structure. The idea of the structure. So, just gotta get some wood and get it together. Man, I'm not doing a lot of talking. I know I'm running around trying to get shit done. Because I'm trying to, well, now I got cash. Uh, actually, hang on. So we got 18 coin, basically. Okay, hold on to it for now. I know I'm not talking much on this. I'm still getting used to replaying this game. And it's a fun game. But there are some pros and cons between the two games. So between Alpha 16 and Alpha 21. Like I said, I was harping on Alpha 21 with its whole book craze. But in truth, it does have some good things. Like I said, you can do fetch quests from the traders. There's better vehicles. It's not just mini bike. So there's a lot of pros and cons. Because we're going to run out of time here. So, on the next gameplay, we'll build, we'll clear out the back area, we'll build the base, and I'll show you what I mean by what I've built so far, or like to build. I enjoy this game, like I said, it's a fun game. Uh, it has its problems, but it's an alpha. It's been in alpha for over a decade. I'm surprised it's not in like some better shape or form of a game, but it is what it is. But like I said before, I had common criticisms about this game to begin with. Especially its later alphas. Um, don't worry, the commentary will improve. I realize this, this commentary for this first episode has been a little rough. I haven't played Seven Days Die in years. At least for YouTube content-wise. Um, just to prove my point, here is footage of me from that many years ago and how I was perceiving it and how I was playing it. And I was playing it pretty bad, not gonna lie. I'm a novice player at this game. As, unless I had some sort of weapon on hand, like a pistol or a shotgun, sure. Um, but if I don't have those at my disposal, you know, using a bow and arrow, I'm decent at it. 
but or a club, but, you know, I'm not really great with those weapons. And that's the other thing. When I jump from this game to Alpha 21, there's stun batons, there's batons in general, there's pipe weapons, there's sledgehammers, there's spears. There's stuff I've never used that, you know, got introduced in, like, Alpha 17 or Alpha 18. Like, I don't even... I've never used a robotic junkie. So, there are things I have not really touched and the ai is probably a bit better there's different uh ai models to fight like i said with the traders there's quests a lot of the pois are dungeon based pois with difficulty ratings like there's there's a lot to go through with alpha 21 personally like i said i prefer the way they were going about it from 14 to 16 17 was when they were changing everything in a different direction like I said, some of it's good, some of it I just don't agree with. But, you know, I had personal, I had a personal criticism video I wanted to do, like it was an analytical kind of video, it just never panned out. So, but, yep, we're about to hit hour 22 here, so I'm going to call here, YouTube. I will jump to day two, where it's 4 a.m. Hell, I may start to starve and have lack of water. I'm also infected. I have yet to find antibiotics, which kind of sucks, but stay tuned for more content. I'm thinking of streaming in the next day or two. There'll be more Lethal Company to come. I'm just going to try some different games in between. So Lethal Company, Seven Days to Die, maybe Elden Ring, and some other games. But you'll see that content soon enough. And again, I'll be working on the commentary for this game a little bit better. So, Hour 22... It's nighttime. I gotta stay quiet now. So, Tom Trossi signing out for now. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye for now.